is I'm going to be upgrading this thing. And I've partnered with Kingston, and they sent me over the NV3. This is 2 terabyte, which is the largest N.2 2230 SSD that you can put in here. And it's a Gen 4 NVMe drive, so the loading speeds will be pretty fast. So I'm going to be taking this and putting it in here and breathing new life into my Steam Deck, which I'm really excited for. And this should allow me to keep the Steam Deck for quite a while. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get this installed. And big shout out to Kingston for sending me this over. I'll have a link down below where you can pick this one up. Step one is you have to unscrew the six screws in the back of the Steam Deck. There are four on the outside and two on the inside. The inside screws are smaller than the outside screws. So you have to separate them so you don't mix them up. All right, the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a gift card or three or an old credit card or three, and you're going to shove it in to the seam between the top and the bottom of the Steam Deck, basically the front plate and the back plate, and you're going to slide it across and slowly loosen it. It's going to take a little bit, and you're going to have to use some force. So keep pushing, but don't push too, too much. It's like a balancing act. Basically, just if you feel like you're applying too much, pull back, and if you don't feel like it's enough, just push and you can leave a credit card on the top or like on the bottom too and then you can just pull the sides and it'll just pop and then you know you're finished okay once you get the back plate off if you have a silver cover like i do you want to take tweezers and as you can see i've already done this because i replaced this before pull this up like so make sure you make note of which screws are for the outer back plate because if you screw these in in the wrong hole when you reassemble it you're gonna have to take that back plate apart and start all over again you're gonna want to remove this screw then you're gonna want to remove the two on the bottom and again make sure you push down and then there's one more you definitely got to be careful I don't mind putting pressure on the thumbsticks in the back as I don't want to damage the screen but then you remove it boom you're almost there and then all you have to do now is you're gonna to want to take off this screw right here and then you're just gonna to want to slide out the M.2 then you're going to remove it from its housing and there voila 256 gone i will have a use for that then we're going to put the kingston one in and then you just slide this in if you have to force it a little bit that's fine too in my opinion and then you just drop it in get your nvme screw honestly this is way simpler than it looks okay next we slide this on. Remember this screw is a little bit bigger on the inside. And again, I don't worry that I put a little bit of pressure on the joysticks because that's kind of what they're made for. Okay, and once we get all of them in, you just kind of push that back down. Then this, um, remember, remember this screw right here is this right here actually stays open because that is what the back plate goes screw gets screwed onto. Dust off. Back plate. All right, now it's time to screw everything back in and you're all done. Okay, so now that the SSD is installed, we have to flash it with an ISO. You have two options. I think the easiest option is just taking a micro SD card as seen here, putting it, flashing it on your computer and then putting it in here. Now I'll put a link down below of exactly where you need to go to create a bootable ISO. The, uh, the website, Steam's website, will actually tell you everything that you need to know. And then the second option, an old Steam dock and a USB drive. Plug it in and then plug the drive into here. So you have either that option or this option. So once you flash it, it'll take about five minutes to do the whole flashing process and you are good to go.
and you can see here 1.3 terabytes free of 1.8 terabytes so that's it for this one let me know if you have any questions down below thank you to kingston for sponsoring this video and check out the nv3 i'll have a link in the comments down below thank you for watching hope this helped and this is how you upgrade your steam deck in 2025